Alright, welcome back to another video on quadratic sequences. So in the previous video, I've been trying to match n square to get the um, explicit formula for the quadratic sequence, okay? But now, we'll try to use another method which is called integrating, okay? We'll try and integrate, we'll do some integration here, okay? Alright, so let's just start because there's not much um, need to say so many things for this method. It's quite straightforward. Yeah, okay, so again, I'm using the same sequences as we did last time. But I will just uh, do this only. That means I'm not going to find the third layer, okay? Unlike in the previous video. Alright, so what I need you to do now is, actually, just look at this. And can you see that this number is kind of in between these two numbers? So we want to find the formula for the sequence of this. Okay, but not, not this, because this is in between, right? So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and fill in the blanks in between these numbers, okay? So you can see in between 8 and 12, it's going to give me 10, right? Okay, just divide it evenly, okay? So of course, if you want to really write this out, it'll be 12, 16 plus 12 divided by 2, right? 14. But just by looking at it, you should be able to tell that you just need plus 2 each time, right? It's going to be 22, and of course, right here, this one is important. We must fill in this blank, okay? 6. Okay, so just look at this. Now, what I want you to do next is to only look at the red sequence, okay? Ignore the black sequence. Don't try and fill in the black sequence. Ignore the black one. Just look at the red one. Okay, so what is the formula of this red sequence? I think I should use red. Okay. Okay, so hopefully... um. You have watched the video on linear sequences. Hopefully, I've uploaded it. Okay, so just look at this. It starts with um, 6, right? But then it adds 4 each time. So it'll be 4n plus 2, okay? Alright, so I won't really explain much on why it's like that. If you don't know why it's like that, then just accept that it's like that. Okay, then what I need you to do next now is to integrate this. So I'm telling you now, if I integrate this, I will get the one on top. If you don't believe me, <coughs> we'll do it. <coughs> so actually, this is a little bit cheating because integration is used only for continuous functions. This is actually not. This is a <coughs> discrete. <coughs> but it's okay. You will, you will still get the answer. You just have to accept it as it is for now. So integrating, okay? I assume that you know integration, okay? So just simplifying, as you can see, I'm just doing normal integration plus c. Remember to plus c, okay? So it's this c. This c is actually the constant that will shift it left and right. Okay, but then, uh, as we know from the previous video, the c here is going to be 0. But I'll just write this out for you. 2n squared plus 2n, which is... I'm just going to tell you, it's just going to give me that, okay? You can just calculate that if you don't believe me. But it is that, okay? Which means that my c is going to be... This c is 0. Okay, so this is the answer. 2n squared plus 2n. Let's just try another one quickly. Okay, 2, 6, 11, 17, and then 24. So the difference, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so don't be alarmed because now your numbers in between are going to be uh, 4.5, 3.5, and you know, 0.5s, right? Don't be worried about that. Oops, 3.5. Okay. Okay. So let's try and do this. Over here. Okay, let me just erase some of this so I can have some space. Alright. This sequence. So it plus 1 each time, right? So it will just be n plus 2.5. Okay. That's the sequence, the red one, okay? Just look at the red one. Okay, so now that we have got this, let's just try and integrate this. You should get n squared over 2 plus 2.5n plus c, okay? So, of course, you have to figure out what c is. So, let's figure out what this thing is first. Okay, so just uh, substitute in. Okay, this sequence will just be half plus half and half plus 2.5. You start with a 3. Actually, just knowing the first number is enough to tell you what C is. Just look at this and look at this. 
I'm just going to tell you this is going to be minus 1. But let's just do this, okay, to convince you. So 2 squared over 2, that's going to give me um, 2, okay, plus 2.5 times 2, that's 5, that'll give me 7, right? Okay, we'll just do one more. 9 squared over 2, I mean 3 squared over 2, 9 over 2 will give me 4.5. 4.5 plus 7.5, that's just going to give me um, 12, okay? So I can do some more, but as you can see, this is actually, this enhanced sequence is one more than this, right? So by minusing 1, I will get back this, okay? So, yeah, actually, yeah, it should be a minus 1, okay? So this answer is the sequence. Alright, I should minus 1. Okay, next, let's just do a last one. Okay, so this one is the one that goes to the negative infinity and not to positive infinity. Okay, minus 3, minus 6, minus 9, minus 12. Okay, fill in the blanks again, normal. Again, it's like not a very nice integer, you just have to deal with it. Minus 4.5 here, minus 7.5. Okay, we don't need to know that. <laughs> Minus 1.5, okay? The more important one is you know the beginning, okay? The starting. Okay, let's figure out what the sequence is. Again, I'm just gonna remove this part so I have some space to write. Okay, this sequence uh, increases, decreases by 3 each time, so it'll be minus 3n. Okay, and then minus 3n. 4.5 okay yeah that's the sequence okay so now again we'll integrate oops dn okay of course again I feel a bit strange doing this because you really can't integrate um, discrete sequences okay but that's okay <clears throat> it's not a big deal plus c okay all right now we just need to figure out what C is. So again, I'm just going to do the same thing as I did before. Figure out what this part is, okay? What this part is. So again, just substitute in 1. I'm using some mental calculation here, so it's a bit slower. If you use a calculator, it's actually it's very easy. Just press your calculator, you get the results out very, very fast. So you get 0, okay? And then you just get... No, 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 no. Yes, 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 sorry. Okay, and then you get 3 square. Okay, I'll do this. Okay, so this is like, you don't really need to spend so much time doing this, okay? I'm just doing it because I don't have a calculator with me now. Okay, <laughs> okay, this is good enough, this is good enough. Right? Then you can see I just need plus 1 and then I'll get the sequence. So this means that this original sequence here is just going to be minus 3 over 2 n squared plus 3 over 2 n. So usually just try and standardize. If you're going to use decimals, then you use decimals throughout. Uh, if you're going to use fractions, then use fractions throughout. I prefer to use fractions. Yeah, but it doesn't matter actually. Okay, so that's all for today. The method is pretty straightforward, right? You just need to figure out what this red colour sequence is. The most important thing is just remember to fill in the in-between parts, okay? To get a red sequence and then you just integrate that and you're almost done and you just need to figure out what C is. And to figure out C, like I said, you don't need to figure out the entire sequence, just figuring out the first number is good enough for you to realise that 0 plus 1 gives me 1. So naturally C has to be plus 1. But of course, if you're a little bit paranoid and you're very far, then you can just do one or two more numbers like I did here, just to make sure that yeah, I've got the first part correct. I integrated correctly, okay? Alright, so that's all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.